In this video, I'm going to show you a safe but effective passing concept that will literally shred almost any coverage in this game. Now, if you are new to the channel, my name is Cody. I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. So if you want to get better at this game, we post videos every single day that can help you do that. Um, literally daily tips and tricks. So if you want to get better at the game, just hit the sub button. Also, if you want to get any or all of my ebooks, you can get all of them for just joining my Patreon membership. Literally everything is all included with that. So if you want to get access to that, I'm going to put a link to my membership in the description. If you want to check it out, you can just head down there after the video and uh, click on the link. Really, really good um, little route combo today and something that I really like to do um, specifically out of Trips Tight End. And what's so good about Trips Tight End is it does, because of the motion snaps, it can really cause some issues uh, for really anybody that you're going up against. And so um, I'm going to give you two different setups today. The first one is probably my favorite and the second one is really good as well. Um, but anyways, the play is doubles in sale out of Tripside Inn. Okay, doubles in sale. And I haven't really talked hardly at all about this play this year, to be honest. And this corner route that Valdez Scantling is on is one of the better routes in the game. And so what we're going to do with this is I'm just going to show you a simple setup. What I love about this set is also the fact that we have this nice table route here to the right. So real simple setup. All we're going to do is block our tight end. We're going to streak our outside slot receiver on the trips side. And then we're going to motion Devontae Adams to the right. We're going to put him on a curl. And we want to snap the ball right when he gets to the numbers, right about right here. And our first read is this snap throw to Aaron Jones. It's actually one of the best routes that nobody talks about in this game. So I'm going to go ahead and play hard flats out of the cover four drop. And what you're going to notice with this route is you can kind of force feed this route. And I'll show you kind of what it looks like here. But basically, we're just going to snap, throw the ball, kind of swerve, catch it. And you see we can get upfield really quickly for about five to ten yards. And again, this is super simple out of trip sign in. Very easy way to get some easy yards. Now, um, just for fun, I'm going to go to cover two and we're going to shade our coverage down. Now, what that does is it gives me a vertical hook and it gives me a hard flat to try to combat this route. And what you're gonna notice with this is this is not terrible defense by any means, but when I throw this, a lot of times I can still catch it. And again, obviously the flat's there, I know that, but I can still catch this route even though they have a hard flat. To me, that's a real big benefit. And if you want to lab it a little bit, what you'll find with this table route is a lot of people really haven't been throwing that this year but this is really, really effective if you can kind of master the snap throw. So kind of like right in there, you see how I can get that lead blocker and you see how good this can be. So again, real simple. Um, and, and, and what this does, like I said, is it gives us a snap throw. Now what it also does is kind of hedge our bet a little bit against any kind of double Mabel coverage um, or anything like that. Okay, so what you can see here, and, and again, I'll show this a little bit more, but with this one, we're actually gonna let this guy set. And what you'll see is we can kind of throw it to the outside and still kind of, again, turn the field, get about five yards, just a quick little read, something simple, okay? What I like about this is this forces a hard flat. Now, if they hard flat, guess what? They're not gonna be able to cover the curl and the corner on the right because this curl is gonna be snapped right here. And so with this corner, is going to run really deep it gets it, it, it's almost i'm going to show 30 yard clouds in just a second but it, it it gets very close to getting over 30 yard clouds now again you want to run this with your trips um to the wide side of the field okay so let's say they have hard flats on the field now if even if they have a purple so like let's say we double flat like this okay if we get this double flat concept this curl to the right side and the corner will be open too. But the curl to the right, what you'll see is this cloud, this purple will suck out before it comes back in. So you see, I can hit that real quick. It's wide open. Now, the other thing that I wanna show you about this is there's not a yellow zone in this game. There is not a yellow zone in this game that will guard it. So you see you have vert hooks and hard flats. Probably the best concept for even having a chance to defend this. And what you'll see is this yellow, because of the fact that I'm gonna snap him outside the numbers, like right about there, you're gonna see that this vert hook will look like it's gonna guard him and then it will run away. And as you can see, I've got the best check down in the game on that side because I've got that nice table route and I've got that nice curl. Now, if you wanted to use a hitch, 
um, if you wanted to use a hitch, I'm gonna show you how you can. So let's say you wanna use a hitch rep, that's fine. Just motion Lazard on a hitch. So you put him on a hitch, you're gonna motion him over. Now what I like to do with Adams is if I have outside apprentice, I'm gonna put him on a post. If I can't put him on a post, I'll just put him on a streak. Um, but it's just that simple scissors action. And what you'll see with this hitch is so good is it gets open just so easily against zone, as you can see. So if you don't wanna hit your snap throw table route, then you can hit that. Um, the other thing that's a real big benefit with the curl, I will say, is let's say that they go cover one robber shade underneath coverage. This is something they will do. Now, I want to note your running back route, if it's manned up, you'll see right here, um, this is a manned up running back route. When it cuts to the outside, a lot of times it can be open. So don't sleep on the running back route against man. Let me try to show that one more time here. I think I'm gonna accidentally base aligned. So what you'll see, with this is whoever guards the running back a lot of times they're going to be out leveraged so you can just boom and just try to break a tackle and and literally i'm telling you i have thrown so many good um so so many like little quick five little little two yard flat routes that turn into touchdowns it's it's insane so just learn to work on the timing of this table route but if you can get the timing down with this this is one of the best routes in the game literally kind of throw it like right in there do that little rat catch a lot of times they don't tackle you a lot of times they miss that tackle this year so that's something that you can mess with i want to show you one more time the shaded underneath stuff um so if i shade underneath the cover three and then we'll show you one more thing that you can do with this so obviously if i shade underneath out of that cover three if you watch here kind of throw it right in there do that little swerve you see i get that block animation so again kind of tinker with the timing of this and you can get that animation fairly consistently um, now i want to show you real quick the vertical hooks uh, with a shaded underneath kind of concept and again a lot of the times if you do that that will you know again just kind of help open this up you want to snap it when he gets outside the numbers right about there throw it there i threw it i don't know why he ran that route like that i think i accidentally may have hot routed him but um, just just throw it I like to throw it with an outside pass lead you don't have to do that but that's what I do um, you know so again here we've got vert hooks shaded underneath and we have hard flats okay so we're really underneath aggressive underneath coverage for this again your curl will get open as a check down but you can also just snap throw it kind of get up field get a couple routes a couple little quick plays um, just don't sleep on this route that's all I want to say uh, this is it's, it's truly one of the better routes in the game the curl table route concept something that everybody's been sleeping on this year um, it, it really is good and again just work on the timing but this kind of animation right in there maybe throw just a split second before but uh, pass lead it up or pass lead it outside uh, to me has been very helpful so just a little quick throw like that get that little rat catch you can almost guarantee yourself two to three yards and um, you know again just something simple that you can move the ball with now once we get them to really kind of sell out for the underneath route, like I said, the quarter route here is really good. Now, what we could do is we could also do it like this. If we're getting a lot of cover three, this is my favorite way to run this play. And the reason why is because you'll see that this third will get sucked in so hard that this quarter route could literally be a touchdown. You'll see he gets sucked in and you can throw that outside just like that. And it's a little bit more obvious from a traditional cover three or if they set zone drops. So I'm gonna call a uh, timeout here and go grab that. While I'm doing that, just wanna remind you, if you wanna get the full trips tied in offense, the link is in the description. If you wanna join the membership, it gets you everything. So I would really encourage you to consider doing that. This is a cover three Mabel. So you're gonna see that this is a double flatted cover three. So I've got, uh, I've got hard flats on the outside. I've got, you know, I could even do the cover two thing like that if I want to. Um, you know, and again, the curl route will be open, um, or the hitch, the hitch will be wide open here, but that's your setup. And then what you'll see from this corner route though, that I think is really interesting is you can actually kind of get this open against this cover three. See how that's kind of a tight window throw, but if you have a good quarterback, that's a pretty decent read. And the, a lot of times this, this, um, this skinny post will pull that zone so bad and uh, let's see if i can get it to do it here see how he kind of sucks him inside and now that's open on the outside so that's a nice little route for you and then last thing that i want to go over one more time about these um again man coverage you're going to probably work your right side unless you want to have a unless you have that skinny post out there 
really man coverage i don't suggest throwing the left side um what i would say is if you're getting a lot of max coverage um you might consider one of the things i really like about this play is you'll see the slot corner suck inside you'll see right here about he'll suck inside you can drag this tight end if you're not too worried about pressure he's a nice little man read for you but if you watch this corner route a lot of times it can get over the top of a 30 yard cloud as you can see right there that's a double mabel 30 yard cloud that, that gets open over now let's say that you know they're in tampa too this is where this is why i really like this skinny post concept because the skinny post will split the cover two so it looks kind of like this there in cover two you'll see that this skinny post will basically split it once he crosses the face of the third it's you know pretty much ggs from there and as you can see so that's one of the main reasons why i like that because now they have to quarter on that side one last little bit on this is this a lot of people when they run cover three mabel one of the things that they like to do to help with the skinny post is they'll put this guy in an inside quarter so they have a cloud here and a quarter right here what's really interesting about this this concept though is when i motion this guy over on a curl now it's a little bit like you know should we really be having a quarter because this guy if he's on a streak he'll get open so a lot of times they'll deep half on that right side and if they don't of course we can just throw it right here take our yards real simple that's a curl flat zone the curl flat zone is the best zone in the game to try to stop that but let's say they do deep half let's say we catch them in a deep half scenario if we catch them in a deep half scenario what you'll notice with this uh, concept is typically this route to Adams will be wide open once he crosses the face right about there crosses the face now I can make him a possession catch or aggressive catch kind of shield that a little better but you see how good that is so again that's a simple way to you know deal with it this is primarily a zone beater I will say real quick that if you want to beat man again I would really recommend the table route is so good against man but the other route that's really good in this formation against man is if you have you're not worried about the blitz just drag your tight in that drag is really good and then you'll see also that your your deep post if you got a stud receiver he's got a shot over the top against man as well the corner routes not exactly the best man beater but it is decent and I'll show it to you real quick um, you know this corner route right here you'll see he's actually not terrible um, he's not like elite by any means and i'll show you it from a press perspective this is shaded down and shaded underneath man to man so we'll go back to kind of that foundational uh concept here obviously your table route's wide open but here you see here that this you see how it's just not quite there now if i pass like that up i might be able to do a little you know rocket catch on the sideline but it's not really there what you really need is um you know maybe a route tech there but even then it's, it's not going to be the best route that's why against man to man what do we do we throw the ball to the running back the running back will be open almost every single time if they run man-to-man -man coverage you're going to pass lead this running back route up and you see that you get this animation right there that animation right there is the key to this entire concept i hope that you enjoyed this video i want to tell you real quick before you take off make sure that if you want to get the full trip side in offense go ahead and join the patreon everything is in there but i just can't stress enough how good this running back route is if you pass lead it up a lot of times you get this real glitchy catch animation like this right here and you see how effective it can be thank you for watching the video if you want to sign up for our patreon to get all of our ebooks the link is in the description it's only ten dollars to sign up so if you want to sign up head on down to the description of the video and click the link down below